What's the difference between generic latanoprost and brand name drug Visolta? And how does a glaucoma doctor like me decide which one I'm going to use on a patient? Now, if you've been diagnosed with glaucoma or ocular hypertension, which means high pressure of the eye, your doctor may prescribe you eye drops to lower the pressure in your eyes to protect your vision. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a really common category of eye drops, which are known as prostaglandin analogs. There are many different types of prostaglandin analogs, but today we're talking about generic latanoprost, versus a drug called latanoprostine Bunod, which is sold under the brand name Visolta. We're gonna go over how they work, which one lowers pressure more, and why your doctor might choose one over the other. We'll also talk about why your doctor may switch you from one to the other. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Saya Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist. I'm also a fellowship trained glaucoma specialist and you're watching the ifacts.com channel. On this channel, myself and other board certified ophthalmologists discuss a wide variety of topics surrounding eye health, eye disease, as well as how to keep your eyes looking young and youthful. So let's dive into today's topic. So first of all, how do these drugs work? So even though they are part of the same category, they actually work a little differently. And this impacts how one of the drugs can actually lower pressure a little bit more. So latanoprost, which is generic latanoprost, it lowers eye pressure by helping fluid in the eye drain out of the eye through a very specific pathway, which we call as the uveoscleral route. Now, Visolta, which is also latanoprostine vinod, has some latanoprost in it, so it does also use that pathway that I just mentioned, but it also has an element of nitric oxide. So because of this additional component, the drop actually works to lower eye pressure in two ways. The first being the same as latanoprost, the UVO scleral pathway, and then a second pathway which actually allows fluid to drain through a part of the eye called the trabecular meshwork. Now, so as you can imagine, because it works on two different drainage routes, instead of one, Visolta can sometimes reduce eye pressure more than using latanoprost alone. And this difference was statistically significant in clinical trials, but I'm going to tell you later on why sometimes a one to two or even three point pressure difference between drugs may or may not matter for your eyes. So even though both are effective at lowering eye pressure, which is the main goal of glaucoma treatment, research does show that Visolta can reduce pressure slightly more than generic latanoprost. Now, when you hear that, you may be thinking, well, then clearly my doctor should always be putting me on that drop and not on generic latanoprost. But the answer is not that simple. And I'm going to talk about why a doctor would choose one over the other in just a minute. But first, I want to talk about side effects. We already talked about how both eye drops work. I want to now talk about their side effect profile. So the side effect profile of both drops are very similar. And honestly, they're both pretty mild. The reason that these are two very highly used and effective medications as initial treatment for glaucoma is because they don't really have a lot of bothersome side effects. So redness, what we call conjunctival hyperemia, the conjunctiva being the white part of the eye and hyperemia standing for kind of redness in that area was shown that both drops do cause it, but there was a slightly lower rate of redness with Visolta when compared to latanoprost. Now, if you're someone who falls into the category where neither drop causes you any redness, then using either drop is not a problem. And the eye redness side effect is really not going to be an issue for you specifically. Other side effects of both drops can include mild irritation and a little burning when the drop is actually going in. But these issues are not the issues that stop people from using the medication. So they're important to note, but typically not an issue for compliance. Now, it's also important to note Note that both eye drops can cause changes such as longer eyelashes, which most people don't mind. But in patients who have light colored eyes or mixed colored eyes, it can cause a darkening of the iris, which people don't like. So that is something that we counsel people on and generally may not use these drugs in patients who have lighter colored eyes. So now why would your doctor prescribe one over the other. This is important for you to understand. Glaucoma doctors consider a lot of different things when deciding how to start initiating treatment. In addition to eye drops being an option like prostaglandin analogs, SLT laser is also an option. 
So sometimes if I start a patient on generic latanoprost and it just doesn't work or we don't see a big drop in the pressure, I've had cases where I've changed them to Visolta and I've had a good pressure lowering drop. This is great if the patient does not want to opt for laser and also good if the patient has good insurance coverage for the medication. Now on the other hand, if insurance coverage is going to be difficult, latanoprost may be preferred, especially if cost is an issue. Since latanoprost is available in the generic form, it is widely covered by most insurances and it can be less expensive than Visolta for most patients. Now, unfortunately, cost and insurance do play a role when we're talking about treatment for glaucoma because this is a chronic medication. That means you are going to be on this medication for a long time and we cannot put patients on a medication for a long time if it is not affordable or if it is not covered by their insurance. Not taking insurance coverage or costs into consideration for someone who's going to be on a medication for potentially years can actually really impact compliance. Compliance means that the patient may decide, oh, you know, maybe I'll just skip this month, it's really pricey, or my insurance didn't cover it, I need to go get a pre-authorization completed. This can all affect how the patient is adhering to their medication regimen means how well are they taking the drop every single day and because these eye drops only last for 24 hours they need to be redosed every single day in order to keep the pressure low now let's talk about that one to two to three point difference that could be achieved by putting a patient on visolta over latanoprost now this is nice to see in terms of actual numbers but what does that actually mean for disease progression? And the thing is, we don't really know because yes, a lower number is technically better, but we don't know if that really means the patient is definitely not going to progress. So it is one of those things that we watch the patient carefully, we watch their visual field, and if we feel like they need more pressure lowering, then of course, we will switch them to something stronger. This is why when you go into the glaucoma doctor, they are not just checking your pressure, they're checking your visual field, they're checking your OCT, they're examining your optic nerve. These are all important things because pressure is just one piece of the puzzle. We have to look at all these different things to figure out if your glaucoma is actually getting worse. And glaucoma progression is actually measured by the visual field. So if your pressure is 16 on latanoprost and it's 14 on visolta but your visual field is not progressing at all it may not matter which drug you take for that specific patient this is so important because each patient is very unique and your doctor is going to come up with a treatment plan for you based off of how you react to different medications as well as whether or not those medications are covered under your insurance plan. Now, one situation where Visolta can be really helpful is with eye redness. So if you are someone who gets really red eyes from using latanoprost, it may be worth it to switch you to Visolta. And if you have a copay that's associated with Visolta, some patients may be okay with paying that because they don't want the eye redness and making that switch has helped them. Now, some patients may switch to Visolta and they may still have eye redness. So in those cases, we may say, hey, do you wanna try SLT laser at this point? There's another video on the channel all about SLT lasers. So be sure to check that out as well. So the bottom line, each patient is unique. And as a glaucoma doctor, I can tell you that there is no one size fits all when it comes to choosing a treatment regimen for my patients. I evaluate each patient on a case by case basis. And I ask myself a lot of questions before I choose a treatment plan for that patient. Does that patient need extra pressure lowering? What medication is actually covered by their insurance? Is the patient able to pay out of pocket every month for years to come? Is the patient having redness that is affecting their quality of life or impacting their compliance? All of these questions play into how a decision is made. And of course, we do it with the input of the patient. We want them to know that they do have options when it comes to glaucoma treatment, and some may better fit their lifestyle than others. So overall, both are great choices for pressure lowering in glaucoma. Visolta can provide slightly additional pressure lowering because it works through two pathways. It also has lower rates of redness, but if it's not being covered by your insurance company, then you may want to try latanoprost 
first, and then you can ask your doctor about Visalta if you want to be switched and see if there's insurance coverage after you've potentially failed Latanoprost. That means you try Latanoprost and either you have eye redness from it, or maybe your pressure doesn't budge as much. And this can give the doctor a reason to switch you to Visalta that could potentially get approved by the insurance company. In the end, the best medication for you is not just the one that works to lower your eye pressure, but it is also one that fits your life. Hope you found this helpful. Remember to hit like and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.